Hey you guys, it's your girl Internet, and today we come at you with a video and it's called Steve Harvey Get Checked by Monique and Kate Williams. I mean, like, I feel like they both were going to expose Steve anyway for all, like, the crap he have done. Like, he know he could have took Monique's side. Like, he could have been there, like, you know, if he felt that she had burnt bridges with people and stuff like that. Then you, you know, you supposed to stand up for your people in, in public, but when you get behind closed doors, you know, you could be like, hey, you know you you do know it's hard for me to do this and all these bridges you done burnt now like if you want me to continue helping you you gonna have to stop i wonder has it ever been a conversation like that with steve but cat he don't care nothing about steve he just like look y'all know what this dude is about so mm. but don't forget to like subscribe comment turn your notifications on so you can see me and let's get into this video Now, when Al Sharpton heard the tape, because he heard it, he mm. said, that man is wrong, and you're like my daughter, so I'm going to have to call him up. Kevin Hart heard the tape. He said, Mo, I called him, and he said he don't want to revisit it. And I didn't push that. I was grateful that he kept his word, and he called. Our mutual friend, when I explained what was really going down, she was like, I'm not with that. Let me call him. And she called him. And he said, I don't want to revisit that. Then he called back while we were on the phone, and he said, no, I changed my mind. I will, we, I will meet with Monique, but not with her husband. And then she has to apologize to me and Oprah Winfrey for saying that we had anything to do with ruining her career. Now, that was recent. So as I sit here with you and you say, wait a minute, I heard that man say he was wrong. Yes, I did hear it. And was going to apologize. Well, that's turned into... Now, I'll meet with you, not with your husband, and now you have to apologize to Right. Me. How does mm -mm. that happen? And I'll tell you how, and I want to look right into the camera if I can. Oftentimes, when it comes to a black woman speaking up and speaking out, it goes unheard until she dies. Then once she dies, then we go back and say, well, she was right, and let's make a movie about it. See, I can give you their names, Eartha Kitt. I can give you their names, Hazel Scott. I can give you their names, Fannie Lou Hamer. Mm -hmm. I can give you their names, Hattie McDaniel. All of those women took a stand. And all of those women left here heartbroken, unhealthy, looking at a community saying, y'all know I'm right. But why won't anybody say anything? Mm -mm, they're not, because they're scared. People will ask me, do you dislike or are you, do you hate Oprah and Tyler and Lee? No. Let me be clear. I love those people. We love those people. My husband and I love them. They're our brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And as my husband always say, Mama, we ain't calling nobody out. We simply calling them up right. to say, listen, yeah. let's make our community better by mm -hmm. making it right, not keep running and hiding right. behind what you consider is your power. Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I want to highlight Monique and Cat Williams exposing Steve Harvey. You know, Cat Williams had talked about it on the Shannon Sharp Club Shay Shay interview. Cat Williams was talking about the people that picked that side. Cat Williams was talking about the, the puppets, gatekeepers. the gatekeepers. Like Kwame Brown would call them the go along, get along gang. You know, they all have this one mindset. They group up. And it's just this one big group of people that you know you can't talk about them. They um, can mm -hmm. blackball you. They can do all of this stuff to these people. And what they have been doing to Cat Williams for the past 15 years, Cat Williams talked about it on a Club Shay Shay interview. And remember, guys, Monique had checked Steve Harvey a while ago she when she was going did. through her stuff, when she was getting blackballed. And a lot of stuff that Monique was exposing back then, man, she tried to tell us and she tried to warn everybody what they was doing. The go along, get along gang, as Kwame Brown would call them, they controlled the narrative. They made it seem like Monique was this black, angry comic uh -huh, that just couldn't yeah. find a job. And she was hard to work with. They always put that narrative out about Monique that she was difficult to work with, right? And that's why Monique was speaking out at the time about all of that stuff. And she checked Steve Harvey live. And you won't even believe what Steve Harvey had to say in response to Monique 
checking him about, you know, being a puppet, basically. Like, you talk to me behind the scenes, and you say a different thing in a public eye. Mm -hmm. And she checked Steve Harvey, and his comments and what he has said in response to that was just crazy, man. So I would like to revisit that in today's video. But with that being said, let's go back and check out this Cat Williams interview talking about Steve Harvey on Club Shay Shay because it's going to put everything into context in today's video. So with that being said, guys, be sure to smack that thumbs up button and hit that like button for me. Let's check out this clip right here. Here's the video. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven mm -hmm. TV shows. He, he stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Imagine oh. him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. What? You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. W what do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Now you know they're going to double back. Impossible. Impossible, only because if once you play this back, you'll realize I didn't say anything that made me look in a good light. I, I wasn't tearing down others to boost myself up. I, but I do have to acknowledge things that did not take place. Like, we are very ingenuous if we say this is not a game and we don't play it and people ain't in positions and people don't have their favorites and they group and they click. And, right. Well, that happens in all businesses. Right. We, no, no. Say what side you on. Say why you don't like the other side. And then get to the game. Right. But in the game, I'm wiping the field with them to the point where they don't even compete anymore. Okay, so as we can see in that clip, Cat Williams was talking about that side. Like he said, he picked his side. And you know Steve Harvey and all them other people he was talking about is on the other side. And that's why he was calling all of those people out, like the Kevin Hart's. We saw and exposed what Kevin Hart has been doing and what he did. He got Shaq humping him on his show, all of the other stuff that right. he was doing in his movies that, you know, wasn't really talked about and exposed. But, you know, like I said, man, they all are a part of this group. And Monique was trying to tell us and tell everybody. So I would like to highlight what Monique had to say when she was checking Steve Harvey. His response was just crazy to me, man. So with that being said, let's check it out right here. Here's no, the video. I did nothing wrong. Y'all know my husband did nothing wrong. But none of y'all in real time, in real time, was strong enough to go publicly and say, we can't throw our sister under the bus. All of y'all said privately, we, I've done nothing wrong. When you tell the truth, you have to deal with the repercussions of the truth. We black out here. We can't come out here and do it any kind of way we want to. Let me, listen. It's the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. It's this is the, the money, money game. game. But I, we in the money so. game. And We're you cannot sacrifice game. yourself. The we best are. thing you can do for this poor people is not be brother. one of them. You cannot We're help them. We're in the money game. Home. But let me tell you what the game is before the money game. Like this. Before the money game, it's called the integrity game. And we've lost the integrity worrying about the money. But Mo, there you go. if Wait I crumble, if you my crumble. children crumble, my grandchildren crumble. I cannot, for the sake of my integrity, stand up here and let everybody that's counting on me crumble so I can make a statement. Okay, so like I was saying, man, that's Monique checking Steve Harvey. His response is crazy. Ain't this kind of like what Martin Luther King did? I mean, like... He had to, and a lot of like the civil rights people, you know, activists, didn't they do? Didn't they do that? They had to stand up, get put in jail, and all like that. These their kids, some of their kids, the majority of their kids, growing up without them, so you can be in the spot that you actually in, even if you is just getting lower, you know smaller amounts of money than the next person than the white person or whatever like that you got that chance you wouldn't even have your black self right there if it wasn't for a bunch of them losing their lives and their kids 
their kids not even having them. So maybe you don't need everybody riding your coattail probably because your kids are grown. Maybe let's teach these whores how to, instead of just trick men and all like that, let's teach them some trades and some things that, they're, that they actually can use instead of just dropping their panties and all like that. Like, I mean, you up here talking about your, I'm like, you, grown folks. These people lost their, these little kids, they dropped, they lost their moms when they were young. Trying to make it right for us black people. That's what I'm trying to say. Trying to make it right for black people so we can have equality. Crazy to me, man. The fact that he really sat there and told everybody, like, I have no integrity. You don't. Money is more important than my own integrity. It is. It doesn't matter what happened to what my friends is going through or hell, what even Steve Harvey could be going through. He's not going to say nothing. He He's not going to speak out against do. nothing um, because it's all about the money at the end of the day. And you see what Cat Williams was talking about when he was talking about Steve Harvey. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you. That like he said, the best thing to do for poor people is not to become poor like them. We mm. said some there at themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand-up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand-up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand-Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he he couldn't do stand up anymore. <laughs> Let's fast forward it to when this disrespectful nigga did something called the original Kings of Comedy. Oh. As if Richard Pryor didn't live and walk this very same. Uh, you gonna be the original King of Comedy, nigga. Did it start with you, you disrespectful son of a bitch? Uh. Uh. Richard Pryor, not Bill Cosby, Steve Harvey. Right. company man now and at the end of the day that's the side that he picked and we all know what comes with that right. that means he has no integrity no backbone mm -hmm. he's not going to speak out against nothing he's not going to stand up for his people he's not going to stand up for no other comics he's not even going to stand up for anything because at the end of the day he's bought and paid for so um i really want to just put that together in today's video because it really just shows steve harvey's character because when monique checked him he had every opportunity to say that Monique was right and he's gonna stand with her, but he didn't, man. He mm -hmm. argued and went against what Monique was talking about and he had told us straight to our face live that 
he has no integrity and it's all about the money. He's right. not going to risk anything when it comes to his bag, man. So um, I would like to hear y'all thoughts about that in today's video. Get in the comment section down below. How do y'all feel about today's video? Don't forget to hit that like button if you made this far in the video. Don't forget to subscribe up as well. Catch you guys on the next video. I knew he was not finna come to no no coming to show with with Cat Williams. Like he knew he couldn't do it. He knew he couldn't do that. He knew he was gonna get roasted. He was gonna be cooked, burnt to the crisp. <laughs> but Steve Harvey need to have a backbone. Like you just don't have no integrity. I would, <laughs> even if if I didn't, I would at least play like I did. Like you just. Point blank period that said you didn't. You up here talking about it's the money game. Child, please. No, it, no, it's not. No, it's not. Like, how much money can you possibly have for you to not even have your integrity? Like, you're sick. You is a weak-minded person. You really are. I would rather have my integrity than anything. You don't stand up for something, you will fall for anything. And you did. Tell me what y'all thought of the video, you guys, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, you guys.